Welcome to AI Tech for Free, your go-to YouTube channel for all things artificial intelligence. We are dedicated to sharing the latest news, trends, and insights in the world of AI technology, with a focus on providing our viewers with valuable resources and tools all completely free of charge. Whether you're an AI enthusiast, a business owner, or just someone curious about the power of AI, our channel has something for everyone. Let's get started. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed SB 1718. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed SB 1718 into law on Friday after the Florida legislature ended its 2023 session. The new legislation strengthens employment requirements, bans local governments from contributing money to organizations creating identification cards for undocumented immigrants, bars driver's licenses issued to non-citizens in other states from use in Florida, and repeals a 2014 law that allowed undocumented immigrants to be admitted to practice law in Florida. Under the new law, which takes effect July 1st, Criminal penalties are increased for human smuggling, with third-degree felony charges imposed on anyone caught, knowingly, and, willingly, transporting anyone illegally in the country across state lines into Florida. All Florida law enforcement officials that operate a county detention center would be required to participate in a federal immigration program, known as the 287-G designed to identify and catch undocumented immigrants in county jails after they are. The new law aims to crack down on illegal immigration by prohibiting sanctuary policies in Florida. It requires local law enforcement agencies to cooperate with federal immigration authorities and bans local governments from limiting or restricting the enforcement of federal immigration laws. The law also imposes penalties on local officials who fail to comply with federal immigration laws. Local officials who violate the law could face removal from office, fines, or lawsuits from residents who have been harmed by the failure to enforce immigration laws. The law expands E-Verify requirements for employers in the state of Florida. E-Verify is an internet-based system that allows employers to check the legal status of their employees to ensure they are authorized to work in the United States. The law authorizes state attorneys to bring civil actions against individuals or entities that engage in human smuggling, which is the practice of transporting people across international borders for financial gain. The law also makes it illegal to transport unauthorized immigrants for commercial gain, and it increases penalties for individuals who engage in human trafficking. This provision is intended to deter individuals from profiting from illegal immigration. SB 1718, the Florida Immigration Law, has generated controversy and debate among various stakeholders. Supporters argue that the law is necessary to ensure that local law enforcement agencies comply with federal immigration laws and to crack down on illegal immigration. They also contend that the law will help protect Florida residents from criminal activities associated with illegal immigration, such as human trafficking and drug smuggling. Opponents, on the other hand, argue that the law will lead to racial profiling and discrimination against immigrant communities in Florida. They also express concern that the law will undermine public safety by discouraging undocumented immigrants from reporting crimes to law enforcement out of fear of deportation. It is difficult to predict the exact impact of the law, as it has only recently been signed into law and its provisions are still being implemented. However, it is likely that the law will have significant implications for immigrants and their families in Florida, as well as for local law enforcement agencies and employers who must comply with the new requirements. Regenerate response. Be aware of your rights and responsibilities, all immigrants, regardless of their status, have certain rights and responsibilities under U.S. law. It is important to understand these rights and responsibilities and to seek legal advice if you have any questions or concerns. Stay informed, keep up to date with the latest news and developments related to immigration in Florida and the United States. This can help you stay informed about changes that may affect your status or ability to live and work in the United States. 
Seek support. If you are facing challenges related to immigration, seek support from community organizations or legal services providers who can provide guidance and assistance. Document your status. Keep copies of your immigration documents, such as your visa, passport, and green card, in a safe place where they can be easily accessed. This can help you demonstrate your legal status and avoid problems with immigration authorities. Exercise caution, be cautious when interacting with law enforcement or other government officials, especially if you are unsure of your legal status. Do not provide false information or documentation, as this can lead to serious legal consequences. Stay AI smart. Thank you for tuning in to AI Tech for Free. We hope you found our videos informative and helpful, and we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on AI technology. Remember, at AI Tech for Free, we believe that everyone should have access to the power of AI, and we are committed to providing our viewers with high-quality content that is both educational and entertaining. So, stay tuned for more exciting AI content, and until next time, happy learning!